The first thing we're going to do is to open up the Chrome browser and go to ProWise.com. You'll then click Login over here on the right. You will go all the way to the bottom where it says Email, the blank one that says Email, and you'll type in your email address that you have been signed up with. You will then type in your unique password. If you've forgotten your unique password, you can click Forgot Password, and it will send a reset link to your email address. We're now going to go up to the top for this waffle. Over at this waffle, we're going to go over to My ProWise. My ProWise is where you can get the answers to your questions. Discover and Learn is going to show you all of the manuals that of information that you might need to look for about the ProWise. You can also click over here to search for items, such as if you wanted to know about how to use ProConnect. There it is. Lastly, you can find pre-built lessons to use with your students. Again, you can search for like a reading lesson or a math lesson. When you click on it and open it, it will open up here in ProWise Presenter. It will open up the whiteboard and the lesson will be loaded. I will now take you for a brief drive through ProWise Presenter. Down here, you can see your basic writing tools down here. But over here on the left is this icon and music symbol. That is where the media library lives. So here in the media library are 3D models, illustrations, images, links to videos, all kinds of things that you can use with your class. So if I click on images, for example, I can use one of the images that comes up or I can search the web straight from here. Same as with videos. I can search for videos right from here. Now I wanted to show you how to get to tools. One of the th most powerful tools I have found is the mind map tool. I'm just going to search for mind map. I can also look for all of these tools. There are pages and pages of tools ready for your, your students and engaging content. So I'm going to click on here for the, this mind map. It looks very much like a graphic organizer. I can type my subject in here. I can start Pro Connect to use that with this tool. So here's my item in the middle. If I was building this lesson, I could add a sound, such as a roar, if I wanted to. It's going to show me lots of sounds automatically come up. I could also embed a video of a lion, I could add more images or a link to a website that tells me more information about lions. Over here, I can click the plus and add details or subtopics about my lion. If I want to put my subtopics in a different color, I can click this box, click this, the gear for settings for this box and change the background color. Remember to click Apply so that that color stays. Lastly, if I'm creating this lesson to be used tomorrow, I want to save it. So I can go down here, click on the file, and I'm going to save. I can add a folder or choose one of my existing folders. I can say I want to place it here in this folder. I can add a description. And then click Save. Tomorrow, when I open up Presenter, I can go to this folder and I can click Open to open any of my engaging lessons that I've already created.